Hey Amanda, it's actually sort of interesting that you made your video about mental health things because I made a video recently on my channel about anxiety and um, sort of different ways to deal with it. And I've been thinking a lot recently about the YouTubers who do put their experience online so candidly and how helpful that is or has been to me. Today I sort of wanted to talk about something that I've definitely noticed before, but made it sort of bothering me more than it has been. It's the way that people online run their discourse about certain things. I know a lot of people I've heard recently complain about the call-out culture that the internet has created, that it existed before the internet, but it's basically where people will tell people that what they're saying is wrong or problematic in some way. I think that most of the time when people complain about it, they're angry because they can't vocalize whatever it is their opinion is without thinking about it first. So in that way, I think it's a sort of like laziness or lack of accountability. But I think that there is a really big issue with how people have been doing this, have been like calling people out. Ideally, if you saw someone write something that was offensive or rude or something, you would tell them, hey, that's probably not the best thing to say because X, Y, and Z. But unfortunately, the way that a lot of people do it is instead of telling them what was wrong with that they were saying, they just say, oh, you're a racist and just like leave it at that. Or they like yell at them for not knowing something. And I think a lot of that sort of aggressive way of handling things is also a sort of laziness and a uh, lack of accountability. Because if you know that something is wrong with what they're saying, and if you don't take the time to tell them why it's wrong, then you don't really have a right to yell at them. There are a lot of people out there that don't really want to hear that what they're saying is wrong, and they don't want to hear that sort of opinion. Um, assuming that everyone is like that is extremely unhelpful. What you can really do is be calm and explain things, and if they react poorly, just know that you did the best that you could do. If you don't, feel like explaining things to them, honestly just bless and release it. Maybe send it to somebody who does want to explain things to them because it can be tiring, um, especially if you're one of the people that people go to and ask questions about this thing that they very easily Google. But if you're going to take a five seconds that it takes to yell at somebody in all caps, you might as well undo your lock cap button and take an extra five seconds to tell them why what they're saying is racist or sexist or wrong. The possibility of being able to, if not help that person, then help somebody else who comes across that post. I don't know, it seems pretty simple to me, but it's something that I've seen a lot of lately that's just really sort of irritating. And I think that this sort of aggression sort of affects a lot of different places. For instance, on pretty much any social media, I don't feel like I have the space to type out and work out remnants of internalized prejudices and things that I have and ask people about it because instead of giving advice, I feel like people are more inclined to attack other people and that's really not how things should be. It really links back to what I've seen several people talk about recently where anger is such a strong emotion that People can get attached to it very easily and it spreads really easily. I'll link to a couple of really neat videos that I've seen about it below, but um, I don't know. I just, if you're going to say something, say something useful. I don't know. I guess this is sort of one of the things that I've been thinking about recently. Hope everybody has a spoopy Halloween and I will see you hopefully sometime next week.